Do you know how a dangerous blood clot inside the brain is removed? To remove a clot, neurosurgeons begin by carefully making an incision at the back of the head. The skin is gently lifted and moved aside to expose the protective layers beneath. Using special surgical openers, the skin and tissue are held in place so the surgeon can safely reach the bone. A precise cut is then made through the tough outer layer covering the skull. Next comes the bone. Surgeons create small openings using a medical drill, usually three holes. These holes are then connected with a surgical cutter, allowing the bone flap to be lifted and removed. After this, the thin protective covering of the brain, along with the muscular layer above it, is carefully opened. Now the clot becomes visible. The surgeon removes the top portion of the clotted blood and gently clears the remaining blockage, relieving pressure on the brain. Once the clot is fully removed, the protective layers, bone flap, and skin are placed back and secured, completing the life-saving procedure.